Hello there, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneers uh, here for the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and uh, welcome to the channel, and thank you for watching again today. Um, I've got something to show you today I think you'll enjoy. You may be asking yourself, Data Pioneer, why are you up on a Microsoft Windows platform if you're in the Linux Unix Tech Channel? Well, that's a good question, and I'm going to answer that question here shortly because today I'm going to demo for you how to go about uh, taking a USB key or stick or, or memory stick, uh, however you want to call it, uh, that's been formatted in a Linux file format such as ext3, ext4, uh, or some other Linux file format that uh, is not readable by Microsoft Windows platform. Uh, that you have files stored on, could be documents that you've created, could be a uh, book you've written, okay, uh, or papers of any kind. And how do, you, uh, how do you pop that key into a Microsoft Windows 10 platform PC and read those? And moreover, how do you take those documents and work with them afterwards, or can you? I'm going to show you today that you can, and there is a software application that uh, I got turned on to by a friend wasn't even aware of it. It's called SysInternals Linux Reader, and it lets you uh, capture documents that are on a uh, USB stick formatted into, in this case, ext4. Pop that thing right into a Microsoft Windows 10, in my case, Pro Platform. Pull up those documents, edit those documents, save them, and uh, do whatever you want to with them. Uh, it's a great little uh, application. I'll show you how to get to it how to use it, and show you what it looks like. And so let's get into it. Let's look at the SysInternals Linux Reader that allows you to read files in a Microsoft Windows platform on a ext4 formatted USB key. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm out uh, on my um, VirtualBox 6.0 manager platform, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire up my uh, Voyager 10 Debian um, Linux distribution here. Got it all set up. And uh, for this demonstration of Linux Reader, I'm going to show you that I have created uh, two documents in LibreOffice in Voyager 10 and stored them uh, onto a, a USB key. Uh, and then I'll show you how Linux Reader reads those uh, from a Windows 10 platform. So uh, I wanted to, uh, to show you this part as well to make sure you see that I do have those documents out there on the key itself. Um, you heard the noise there The uh, when Voyager was booting up. Uh, I do have the USB 3.0 uh, activated and I do have the USB stick inserted right now in the uh, computer and so uh, in the virtual machine it detected it and that's the sound that you heard. Alright so it's coming up now and uh, as soon as it boots up I'll uh, go ahead and log in and get in and show you those documents. Linux Reader is something that I uh, got turned on to by a friend of mine. Um, really wasn't aware of the fact that uh, that it works as well as it does, and so um, I, I wanted to show that to you today. Let me go ahead and put my password in. All right, and let me finish its boot up process. And log in, and um, we'll get into Debian Linux here, Voyager 10. It's a Buster distro. And um, I'll show you those documents that I have. Okay, we're in Voyager, Debian 10 now. <clears throat> and um, let me go ahead and open the files. All right, and so uh, the documents, this is the stick that I have in the computer right now. It's the USB ext4 is the name of it and I did that deliberately so that you could see that I have formatted this USB key with ext4 file system and so let me boot on or click on that rather and here's the documents folder that I have and if I open it here are the three documents that I have this one is called document docx format which is a LibreOffice document that I uh, saved in the .docx file format for compatibility with Windows 10. Here is a document 
ODT format, which is one I created in LibreOffice as well. And it is saved in the open document text format. Um, and, uh, and that was in LibreOffice as well. It is still viewable, readable, if you will, in Microsoft Office Suite. Um, however, um, there are some, and LibreOffice as well, will um, we'll read those. But, um, you know, there may be some uh, word processing packages that can't read an ODT file. Uh, but this is on an EXT4 system. And then I have a Voyager site PDF, okay, that um, is basically an image of the screen. It's a screenshot uh, converted to a PDF file. So these are the three files that I have out on the USB stick, okay? All right, so... Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get out of here. And uh, let me go ahead and power off the Voyager system. And that releases the USB key back to the Windows 10 Pro platform. And it's right now, you'll notice that it's saying it detected the USB key or stick, all right, uh, or drive whichever you want to refer to it as. I, I call it a stick a lot, and I also call it a key from time to time. Notice that Microsoft Windows can't read it. It doesn't know how to read it, and why it's asking me to format it. Um, so if you have stored, if you have created documents in, um, in Linux, such as in Debian uh, with Voyager 10, could be any Linux distro, though, um, and then you pop that key into a Windows 10 platform uh, and think you're going to be able to pull those documents up and read them and work with them, uh, you're going to be sadly mistaken because that key has been formatted ext4. Now, on the other hand, having said that, if you format that disk, that key, uh, in TFS or ext, um, not ext, but... Um, uh, FAT or FAT32 or VFAT, um, then and store those documents on the key and pop it into the Windows 10 uh, Pro Platform machine, then you most likely would be able to uh, pull those documents up and read them, especially in LibreOffice if you've got LibreOffice installed in uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10, period. Okay, uh, but I don't. I have it. I have it formatted ext4, and I have it formatted ext4 because I'm, I work natively natively in Linux in an ext4 um, file format uh, because it has journaling that I take advantage of. All right, so let me go ahead and cancel this because I do not want to format that key. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close. Um, let's cancel. Go ahead and close um, that uh, stick. And so now uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I have the Linux reader uh, installed here in Microsoft Windows 10. I'm on my Microsoft Windows 10 platform right now, Pro version. And I'm going to type in Linux reader, and it found it. Linux reader is, a, as I mentioned, a disk internals uh, application. I'm going to click it, and it's asking me, do I want to open it up? Yes, I do. And it's detecting the disks on the system, and here it is. And so this is the Disk Internals Linux Reader X64 version 3.5.1, which is the latest version. Cool program. Uh, it will allow me to open up these files natively from the uh, key formatted ext4, okay? So I look down here, and here are the drives with removable storage, all right? And... I note that this particular drive is named USB EXT4. That's the uh, key that I had in the uh, Voyager 10 uh, Debian Linux Buster system. Okay, so I'm going to click it, double click it rather, and open it up. Uh, let me raise this up a little bit, and so let me double click the documents folder, and there we go. Here are the three files that I showed you earlier in the Voyager system, and here's the contents of that. Now. The one uh, thing I need to tell you about uh, Linux Reader is, is that if you work with the files here in within Linux Reader, they are read-only. They're not uh, read-write, read-writable, all right? So you got to make sure you understand that. You can't modify this particular file. Uh, you can only view it. And so the same with this file. These are identical, by the way. They're just in different 
file formats. And then, of course, this one is the image that I told you was an image of the desktop. All right, so let's, let's go to this ODT document here. And the way to get this uh, file out where you can work with it in Windows is to come up to the Save button here and click Save. And then it's saying the Export wiz Wizard actually launches here. And it says Export Files to Recoverable Files from Save to the Hard Drive or Upload to FTP. It's uh, got a radio button on the Save Files. I'm going to click Next. Okay. Um, I've already done this, so I could browse out you know, to the desktop. Uh, to where I want to store this, and I don't have to store it on the desktop necessarily. It could go somewhere else, but I'm going to store it on the desktop. So I'm going to click Cancel here because it's in the location where I want to store the file that I'm exporting out, and I'm going to save the directory structure as well. But I, in this particular case, I do not want to extract the file date from the metadata. Uh, I could do that if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm just choosing not to. All right, so I'm going to click the Next button here, and then I've got a check mark. Uh, I've got it ticked in the box here for document ODT format dot ODT. All right. Its size is 14.35 kilobytes. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it says completing the export wizard. It's going to send the file uh, out to this location. And so I'm going to click finish to have it do that. All right. So it should be done. I'm going to minimize the Linux reader and go out on the desktop. And here is the file the document um, in ODT format dot ODT, all right? And so if I right-click on that file and I say open that file with, and I've got LibreOffice 6 installed here in Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, if I open up LibreOffice, it should open that document up in LibreOffice so I can work with it. I can edit it, I can copy it, I can change it in any way, I can delete it. Here it is. Here's the document, document in ODT format. Um, and as I said, I can go in here and I can change the document, you know. Um, all right, and then I can save it back out. I can change its name, do whatever I want to. So this is an editable document now. And this is a document that Linux Reader allowed me to grab from a USB key that was formatted in a file format not readable uh, or not compatible directly or natively with Microsoft Windows 10 Pro or Microsoft Windows, period. Um, so I'm able to do that, and Linux Reader uh, allowed me to do that. So let me go ahead and let me close this. Uh, I'll just go ahead and not save it, okay? Let's get out on the web, and uh, let me pull up a website uh, that shows you Linux Reader. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and type in Linux Reader for Windows and click on that. And here it is. Um, this is the uh, Bing location for it. And so let me go to the Disk Internals Linux Reader download. And here it is. This is Disk Internals Linux Reader dot en for English dot l o four d dot com forward slash Windows. Um, this is the Disk Internals Linux Reader website where I can come up here. It talks to, you, it tells you what you know, what it what it does, uh, what it's designed to do, uh, how it does it, and this is how I learned about it. I learned from my friend, and then I went ahead and, and tested it to see if it actually worked as advertised, and it does. And then I can download the application here, and I can install it directly, uh, you know, onto. Uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro platform and use it. And this is what I did today, and that's what I demoed to you here. So this works. So I highly encourage you, if you are a Linux user uh, and you want to be able to uh, store documents on a key that you have uh, formatted in a file format other than NTFS or something that Microsoft Windows can read, such as ext3, ext4, or even ext2, especially the extended file formats. Um, then uh, by all means, take advantage of Disk Internals Linux Reader. I think you'll like it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you like my video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do a thumbs up on this video uh, because that does help me in the popularity on the website, uh, on the web. And uh, hit that bell off to the right of the subscribe button. 
so that uh, you get notified every time I upload a video. And so this has been uh, Data Pioneer uh, from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.